Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's good afternoon. I'm trying to get this in while the sunlight is still being pretty and beautiful in my background. So, welcome to Star and Flurry, where I rant usually, tell a story usually, and do a little reading usually. So, um, today, my rant stems with a company that has just... You know when you when you write somebody because of an issue and they write back as if they haven't read your email and so then you reiterate it and they say, Oh yeah, okay, blah 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 and then here's what we can do and you go, Okay, and then you wait and wait and wait and it never happens and then you get back to them. <laughs> you say, Uh, is this moving forward? And they're like, Oh, I thought you were gonna do this. I'm like, No, refer to email number four or whatever one it was. You know, it's just, you know, and it's the dribs and drabs and that we don't know what, sorry, miscommunicate. It's like, gibus. It just drives me crazy. So I finally just sent an email and I know last week there, my cards were saying, watch your words, but I'm like, you know what? No, I'm tired of watching my words. This is ridiculous. The, we, there's an email chain that's very clear about what was supposed to happen and it didn't happen. And so I said, so now I'm stuck with this product that is inferior, that, um, you know, with the same complaint I had originally, and the complaint I had originally involved the fact that this was going to take a whole lot of time, and you said, no problem, we'll make this happen like this. And I said, great. And then an interminable amount of time goes by, and nothing happens, and I call back, so it ends up that that's exactly what ended up happening. So I said, you know what, forget it. And so this time I just said, you know, forget it. This is ridiculous. Not going to not gonna happen, and it's really too bad. I'm stuck with an inferior product that I will never use. My bad, my my unfortunate circumstances. I know it's a first world problem. I get that out, you know. But I'm just saying it's just frustrating that you spend money on things and then they don't frickin' follow through with the issues. And this one is they sent me an incomplete thing. I won't go into the frickin' details, but they sent me a thing that was missing a major part. And all I wanted was the part, but apparently they couldn't handle that. They don't sell that part separately. You need to return this one and we'll send you a new one. It already took a month to get, so we're talking two, you know, two months, you know, no. And she was like, no worries, we'll just pop it in the mail to you and you send that other one back when you're ready. I said, okay, great. That's what we settled on. So I finally wrote today saying, you know, is that coming anytime soon? Oh, you said you were going to send it back. No, that is not what I said. And now I'm done. Now what was a little thing, I was asking for a part. Little thing turns into a gigantic thing because they can't freaking handle it. That's my rant. For customer service people out there, God damn it! if you just freaking solve the problem, what is so hard about that? Especially when it's a part. Freaking fix it. How hard is that? Jesus, I'm just getting worked up. I, you know, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not after a gift card. I'm not after anything free. I just want it to work. How hard is that? Especially after I've spent over $200. Thank you very freaking much. But apparently that's not going to happen. So yeah, that's, that's my rant. End of story. <sighs> now I don't even know. I infused my decks with so much negative energy. I'm sure I'm going to pull the Eight of Swords death card. Whatever else. <laughs> Ten of swords, nine of swords. Oh, God. Okay, so today I'm starting. I always start with the Oracle, and then so I'm starting with the um, Antiquities and Magical Oracle by Jillian Wild, author of the Naked Heart Tarot. I sometimes get that name wrong, but I think it's Naked Heart Tarot. And Pixie Pop Tarot, one of my favorite decks of all time, um, mostly because of its perfect size. Perfect size. Pixie Pop Tarot, Jillian Wild. Check it out. Um, okay, so we're starting with a little three oracle cards from her. So the first card is uh, the world, which is totality. Second card is a bird. Isn't that pretty? Information. I love the little string of, um, it's like a message thing hanging off the bird beak. And the third card is reciprocity. The hand. That's a cool card too. 
These are all cool cards. They're all cool cards. I highly recommend this deck. It's just fabulous. Um, okay, and I had pre-shuffled that, and I pre-shuffled this. This is my beloved. I have several beloved decks, but currently this is the one. If I, and I may do the uh, a VR to the um, Lisa Papaz and Don Michelle and oh Don, oh, I get the guru name and Danny Mystic's um, tag for Valentine's Day called Deck Crush. But I will tell you that hot and heavy affair going on right here behind the backs of others. I will tell you that too. Just, I, and you know what? I don't feel guilty at all because this is just such a great deck. So anyways, I have also pre-shuffled it. So card under the globe is the world. Who could have asked for that? Oh my God, isn't that a great card? And I am probably going to take time to read the uh, guidebook to you because that's also what makes this deck so remarkable is the artwork which I think is so really in a weird way it feels minimalist but it's not and when you read the guidebook and you when you read the guidebook and read what the author has to say about the art it's just it opens the card what it just wide open I mean I love that there's this huge body I mean it's like she's carrying a beach ball it's like she's carrying the world she is um, to a body of water in the middle of the desert. I mean, it's just, that's amazing. So that's so interesting under, under the globe oracle card. So under bird, the information, four swords. <laughs> I'm just laughing because the information, I mean, I just got the email about this frickin' product that I was ranting about at the beginning. I just got that email today, and then the card under it is a four of swords. So, like, okay, take a breath. <laughs> You're going to need a nap after this rant, apparently. Okay, and under hand, reciprocity is the eight of cups. Yeah, walk away. I mean, this has to completely, in a weird way, this card has to do with the previous card of this card have to do with my situation today. It's just like you need to take a breath. And then just walk away. It's over. And that's fine. And maybe the world card is just telling me, it's okay, you've got the world in your hands. This is literally, this is the this problem you're having today is about this big compared to everything else going on in the world. So, and understood. Fair enough. Fair enough. But let me read you the, and what did I do with that? There it is. Um, let me read you the, um, the world. What's it say here? So, world, I celebrate the gift of life. Oh, I love that. Um, so, let me hold it up. Okay. And so, the uh, keywords are um, the keywords are a gift of life, celebration, milestone. A woman holds a striking, sparkling planet in the middle of a monumental wilderness. She quite literally has a world at her fingertips. Being elevated to a podium signifies a personal win and the conquest of a milestone. She looks out towards the horizon beyond the bright blue ocean. Here, a double rainbow forms. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's beautiful. You see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, she looks, a double rainbow forms, and a fiery sun warms a colorful, joyful scene. Above, a new desert is visible to those who have a wide enough perspective. <sighs> I definitely saw that desert, but it looked like kind of a reflection. But Maybe that's what it is. Oh, that's just... That's beautiful. Okay, let's read the four swords. I just freaking love this guidebook. It's just, I mean, I and maybe I, I think I dismiss guidebooks because I, you know, like I think of, I'm going to learn all this by osmosis, <laughs> which clearly I'm not. But um, this one is just changing my mind uh, in all sorts of ways on, on guidebooks. Um, so four swords. Look at it again. So it says, withdrawal, softening, ease, recovery. Reposing on a dune, a woman softens into a relaxing position. You know what I really like about this is she doesn't look dead. A lot of times on the four swords, people just look dead. And this, she does not hear. With no other human in sight, her shape becomes part of the natural curves of the landscape. By withdrawing, she deeply connects. Above her rests a warm sun framed by two moons awaiting fullness. The serene, natural scene supports the woman's commitment to slow down. 
I'm not sure I have a commitment to do that, but maybe it's suggesting that I do. <laughs> Ten four. I get it. I hear you. Okay, and then let's read the um, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. I walk towards truth. <laughs> okay, so there it is again. So it says, void, spiritual journey, path of knowledge, discovery. Having climbed an icy mountain peak, a gentleman finds himself on an interdimensional path through a black void. End point unknown. Boy, that sounds like the beginning of the Twilight Zone, doesn't it? He embodies composure, emphasized by his elegant suit and dapper cane. In solitude, he pauses to contemplate the epic view of his planet, easily discernible from his journey before he continues. Seriously, I look at this card. I think I've said this in another video once. I don't know if I posted it or not, but it's every once in a while I'll pull a card and I suddenly hear, for those of you old enough to remember, um, the theme song of the Twilight Zone in the background. And this is one of those cards. Me, 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 me. Anyways. <laughs> so I think this is just reflecting on my day, seriously. So, okay. And then the energy on the bottom, which just fell to the ground which I will take as a, hey, look at me, was the King of Wands. And I just opened straight to it, and it says, the cosmos supports my vision. Manifestation, responsibility, capability. The King of Wands, I should get it so you can see the card. I hope it's still the King of Wands and not something else. So there it is. God, is it? Yeah. Every card I look at in this deck is just stunning. Okay, so the King of Wands, let's see. <sighs> Reaches the tallest dune, small against his boundless environment. From here, he can see clearly. Drenched in the colors of a hopeful sunrise, an awe-inspiring celestial body emerges. The King's vision manifests out of pure sky, symbolizing his skillful integration of vast vision and true power. Beautiful. This deck is just makes my noggin work hard. So that's uh, that's my <laughs> that's my reading for today. Sorry about the opening rant, but oh my god, uh, when things things like that just get to me, I just feel required to speak. Apparently, so that I did. Anyways, have a great day, everybody. And as always, remember to pay attention to those little miracles that fall around you every day. Bye.